Well, Shamari, uh, obviously, I mean, the move, move to Queens obviously paid off for you. Just what can you say about the way these guys held it together after going down 18 points at halftime? Uh, well, you know, we just battled through it. We've been playing through adversity for a long time, so it's just another day in office for us, and uh, we're just able to come back from it. Yeah, and Glovich, uh, just what can you say about Glovich and uh, Walter, the Calgary running back, quarterback and running back? They're, they're both good players, and they're both a big part of our game plan to contain them. You know, we kind of lost it a couple of times, but for the most part of the game, we were able to contain them. Yeah. And uh, when did you start to feel like the, t the momentum had shifted? Well, right, right, well, right in the third quarter. The beginning of the third quarter, I thought the momentum kind of shifted. As soon as I scored that first touchdown, I knew it was, it was going our way. Yeah. Did you guys have to feed, sort of feed off? The, I mean, the crowd was a bit pro Calgary, I, I thought. At least, I mean, you guys, they, Calgary got all the cheers. You guys came out. There was a few cheers, mostly boos. Uh, you know, just... well, you know, they're just one factor in the game. I, know. I, I didn't tune in too much to what they were doing, to be honest with you. Yeah. And uh, I mean, obviously, this decision uh, paid off. You know, what, what, just what can you say about the way the defense play, played the run down the stretch? I mean, you guys sort of figured out that Canadian, you know, Canadian football, if you can stop the run and not give, you know, and get, get some sacks, I mean, you'll win most of the time. Yeah, well, we, we just knew that um, you know, we could stop the run anytime, and, and we know we're facing good running backs, and they were all the keys to pretty much everybody's offense. So we knew if we stop them, then we make the offense one dimensional. And we're able to just do that again this week. Yeah. Now, did you, when you came in, came into Queens first, did you have a sense that this could be a special group? No, I, I, I never thought of it. I never thought of it until, until we actually won the McMaster and Ottawa game. Then I thought we had something special because those were two wins that we had. Which we probably shouldn't have won, but we were able to battle through the adversity and win. Yeah, and I guess, so, you know, what's next for you? I mean, how much you're looking for? I mean, when are you going to start thinking about the, the draft? I guess. Well, I don't know. I guess I got to start getting ready to uh, tomorrow. So party hard today, and then get ready for all that stuff tomorrow. Yeah, and it, okay, so when you get finally get a chance to make some calls, who's, who's the first person you're calling? Me? Oh, uh, I already called my wife. I already told her I won. So <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't here today. No, she wasn't here. She lives in Houston. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know if you, how was she following it? Yeah, she was following it, so I called her. I called her as soon as the game was over. <laughs> nice. Yeah.